Hey, woodcutters, top saw here. Today I'm going to go over um, some double sided tape in the wood shop, both on the traditional side and also on the CNC side. This is one of those things that you never really think you're going to use, and then once you start using it, you use it all over the place. So I use it in a lot of places from the CNC router to a planing sled to um, templates on a flush trim bit on a router, and I'm going to go over all of that in this video today. All right, hi everyone, nice to see you all. Uh, I just had neck surgery, so my voice is a little hoarse. They actually went in through the front to get to my vertebrae in the back, but I'm feeling great. Surgery went really well. And today I'm gonna go over this double-sided tape from Hippie Crafter. It's two inches wide and I think 90 feet long. Um, I use it in a ton of different places, and the more I use it, the more I realize how much I love it and how much I need to use it. So let me go over some of the key places where I use double-sided tape. So one place I use double-sided tape a lot is on the planer. I have this beautiful Laguna 25-inch planer. The minimum it'll go to is a quarter inch. We also use really thin wood on our laser cutter. So if we want to mill it ourselves and plane it down to a usable thickness, we use a planer sled. And they're really small pieces. So this planer sled right here, I do have like a little bit of an end piece on here to catch it. Um, and it's made out of MDF. I don't know if you can see it there, but this texture is super torn up. But we'll go ahead and give it a try. Um, here's the backing on it. The way I usually use this double-sided tape is I get it started. I'll show you a couple tricks right here. I keep that backing on it, and I use that backing to push it down smooth. Uh, I pull the backing up first, and then I tear it off of that. Um, and that way the next person who uses it, they won't have to try and get it started. So then you could tear the backing and if the backing and the tape are torn separately, it's easy to start. Then we'll take this, we'll tape it on here. Okay, so here's my Laguna planer. This is 0.35 thick right here. My sled is 0 0.75, 0 0.75, 0 0.35 is 1.1. We'll go program one, 0.05, air down, start. We'll see how this works. You can see how nice that holds on there. Even on that really torn up top, it held on there great. Another place where I really like uh, double-sided tape is fixturing templates to wood. Um, this is a plaque we do a ton of. Even though I have a CNC router, we still use a lot of templates just to understand the advantages of a CNC. So I'm just going to use this double-sided tape for attaching this template. I'll just put a little bit down. Probably be enough. Just need a little bit of that tape to hold it in place. I'll go over the bandsaw and do my rough cuts. So there's my template right there. My guard's a little bit above my material. My safety glasses are on. I don't use any tools unless I know how to use them safely and I've been trained with them properly. My bandsaw is in good shape. I'm just going to rough cut this. I'm not going to do much because the flush trim router bit's going to trim it up. Here's my flush trim router bit, my template, my rough cut. And that's using the double-sided tape on a template. 
All right, here's a piece of poplar wood, 16 by eight by three quarters. This is a piece of poplar that we milled out ourselves. Uh, I'll put a little clip in right here. on us milling it. Um, I think it's just so cool. This channel is all things wood from tree work to woodwork. I do tree work on the weekends, bring the logs in, we mill them into lumber, and then uh, we build projects out of them. So this project on the CNC is going to be a tangram puzzle with a pocket for the pieces to go into. Um, it's great math application, uh, kind of cool technology use on the CNC, and the fact that it's kind of wood waste. I just, I love it. I love the whole idea of that. New to the channel, think about subscribing, and then I'll double side tape this down to the CNC router. So, as you can see on the CNC router right here, our last project was a cedar fish. Um, we got a little carried away on our depth on some of them, went right into our sacrificial board. That's okay. I'm gonna use this double-sided tape uh, from Hippie Crafter again. It doesn't really take much uh, to hold it down. So again, I'm just gonna get it started. I keep that backing on there. I'm going to do one more because I have a lot of really small bits. Not only do I have a lot of really small pieces here, but the thing I'm taping it to is so perforated and torn up that it, you know, it, it might not hold that well. So that's good. And then I tear the backing separately so that the next person could use it and start it easily. Do a touch off on my Z axis. Okay, here's the CNC running the part. It's a quarter inch flat end mill running it in three quarter inch poplar. The only hold down I have here is a double sided woodworking tape from Hippie Crafter. Uh, really love this stuff a lot. The only fixed string I have here is a double-sided tape. Two strips, two inches wide. And this is kind of how I use double-sided tape in the shop, both on CNC and in the traditional shop. So if you like the video, hit like. If you're new here, subscribe. Love to hear your comments below. And thank you for watching.